Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see SAP MM Scheduling Agreement. So, the agenda for the session is Overview of Scheduling Agreement, How to Create, Edit and Display Scheduling Agreement. So, let's start with Overview of Scheduling Agreement. Suppose, if a material is required from particular vendor over a time framework, that means if a material is required at end of 15 days or at end of every month, we will be creating a scheduling agreement and this is how it differs from contract. In scheduling agreement, we will be specifying the particular time at which we will be requiring the material. So, scheduling agreement is a outline agreement between vendor and ordering party for a predefined material defining particular time interval at which material is required. So, next is how to create, edit and display scheduling agreement. So, transaction code to create scheduling agreement is ME31L, to edit it is ME32L and to display it is ME33L. So, let's do all these functions practically. Second type of outline agreement is scheduling agreement. To create scheduling agreement, enter transaction code ME31L in command field. This will navigate you to scheduling agreement create page. Or else you can navigate via SAP menu. So we'll just go back to the home page. Select logistics. Select materials management. Select purchasing. Select outline agreement. Select scheduling agreement. Select create. Select ME31L. This is scheduling agreement create screen. You can create scheduling agreement manually in reference to purchase requisition or in reference to quotation or in reference to contract using these three icons. If you want to create scheduling agreement in reference to contract, just click on this icon. Enter your contract number here. It will populate all of your details automatically or else you can create scheduling agreement manually. So we'll just create a manual scheduling agreement. Here you need to enter your vendor, your scheduling agreement type that is LP standard, standard agreement type, agreement date, purchase organization, purchasing group, your plant and storage location. So I am entering test data here. After entering all the details, just press enter. In header data screen, you need to enter your validity start and validity end date of scheduling agreement. So just enter validity end date. Then again press enter. In item overview, you need to enter your material, your quantity and net price. I am entering my material, my quantity and my price. Again press enter. It will automatically fetch all details from material master. Once your scheduling agreement is ready, just click on save. Scheduling agreement will be created generating a number. If you want to display your scheduling agreement, just enter transaction code slash n me 33 l Enter your agreement number here. This will display all of, all of your details of scheduling agreement. So in this session we learned how to create scheduling agreement. And in next session, we'll see how to create quota arrangement.